If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Did you hear the rumor that says rapper the game might have been pushed by Diddy into doing something he didn't want to do? Yeah, it's true. If you've ever wondered why Diddy never signed the game, I might have the answer. Stay tuned because this is going to surprise you. Trying to pretend like he, you know, loves girls and live the rap lifestyle, but really, he's a man fan. I've got some juicy celebrity gossip for you today. There's a big rumor going around about the game and a surprising revelation. It seems like he's suggesting that Diddy might have pressured him into something he didn't want to do. Can you believe it? This news is definitely a shocker. Start kicking it with Diddy, right? I ran around with Diddy for two years, uh, damn near. Um, and this Diddy, we never went to the studio one time. After the game spilled some tea on Drink Champs about how Diddy had been giving him fancy gifts for two whole years, rumors started flying. Fans began putting the pieces together and guessing that this might add to the rumors about Diddy's questionable behavior. Mentioning Wendy Williams and Diddy in the same breath, well, that's quite the story. Whether Diddy likes men, women, or even unicorns, that's his own business. But it's always interesting to guess, isn't it? You see, talk about Diddy hiding his true feelings isn't new. People in the industry, like Wendy Williams, have been dropping hints about Diddy's possible orientation since way back in 1998. Wendy caused a stir when she hinted on her radio show that Diddy might swing both ways. Then, there's this scandalous twist. Rumors spread that Diddy might have played a part in getting Wendy Williams fired from her radio job, just because she dared to dig into his personal life. The whispers grew louder, painting a picture of a man who wouldn't hesitate to use his influence to silence those who tried to expose him. Once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. Let's talk about 50 Cent now. He's been stirring up rumors about Diddy for a long time. According to him, Diddy tried to win him over by offering to take him shopping. This is Paul. Okay. You're telling me we got a kick in his He's like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or something? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the f this just say? <laughs> but if the rumors are true, 50 Cent isn't the only one Diddy tried to win over with shopping sprees. Word on the street is that Diddy used this tactic on none other than the game. This adds an extra twist to the story. The game is one of the first rappers to talk openly about a topic many keep quiet about in the industry. Beneath the flashy image, some rappers are living a different truth. In a frank conversation back in 2011 on Vlad TV, the game didn't hold back. He talked about knowing some artists who weren't being honest about their true feelings. Oh, that in the closet is real scary, you know what I'm saying? So we got to get into, you know, get into the seriousness of it. And it's just not fair to, you know, other people. And then that his worry wasn't about who they chose to be with, but about the lying and the possible health dangers. After this interview caused a stir, whispers in the celebrity world quickly turned to Diddy. Why? Well, for one, Diddy's relationships with many women and being a dad to seven kids from four different moms got people talking. The speculation was that maybe Diddy was using his image as a ladies' man and his big family to distract from those ongoing rumors about his sexuality. But the drama didn't end there. Usher's name also came up. There were rumors suggesting that maybe Diddy was involved in giving Usher that infamous stuff. If you remember, Usher was caught up in a scandal where he supposedly gave an STD to a woman. Papers leaked online hinting that Usher was diagnosed as carrying the STD between 2009 and 2010. There's even talk about him paying off the affected woman around $1.1 million to settle the matter. This is my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's not, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was... The rumors got louder, linking Usher's situation to the same group of famous rappers the game talked about. It's all just guessing, but it adds more to the talk about men living secret lives in the music world, backing up what the game was worried about before. We still don't know the truth, but it's definitely interesting to talk about. Now, onto another surprising piece of gossip, Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal, has shared some shocking information. According to Gene, Diddy's late wife, Kim Porter, knew about his escapades, and it wasn't just with women. 
was with every chick, every dude, whoever he wanted to be with, you know, when Kim was alive. Oh, wow. Here's another twist. Gene suggested that Kim was working on a book that could spill all of Diddy's secrets. He hinted that Diddy might have felt relieved when Kim passed away suddenly because she knew all about his sneaky actions behind the scenes. This just makes the story even more interesting, doesn't it? You know all his deepest secrets. You understand? Now, remember what the game talked about in his Vlad interview? He mentioned working with a rapper who was secretly playing for both teams, not openly gay, but pretending to like girls and live the rap lifestyle while actually being a fan of men. Now, the big question everyone's curious about is, was he talking about Diddy? After the game's recent appearance on Drink Champs, where he talked about his time with Diddy, fans started connecting the dots. Some speculate that Diddy might have tried to take the game shopping, similar to earlier rumors about 50 Cent. With the gossip mill churning, it's hard not to wonder where the truth lies in this maze of celebrity rumors. But I'm not homophobic and I really don't, you know, care, you know what I'm saying? I just, but um, I'm bad at the game and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see Here's it. where things get interesting. When the game was just starting out in 2001, his big brother, Big Face 100, was right there with him. They hustled together and dropped a mixtape that somehow ended up in Diddy's hands. With dreams of a deal with Diddy's famous Bad Boy Records, the game had high hopes. When he spilled the beans on Drink Champs, he talked openly about his puzzling relationship with Diddy. He said, I ran around with Diddy for two years. I'm like, yo, are we ever gonna rap? Instead of hitting the studio, it seemed like they were always jet-setting, going from one place to another. It sounded more like a fancy trip than a music contract. While the beats and the bars were missing, the gifts weren't. Diddy, always the big spender, was giving the game lavish presents, like fancy watches and bling-bling chains. Fans have been putting the pieces together, trying to figure out why Diddy would wine and dine him without sealing the deal. Was it all just a show to get the game to play a different kind of game without ever hitting the studio? Whispers on the street suggest that Diddy might have had other reasons. When the game didn't go along with it, he was pointed in Dr. Dre's direction, the real deal. After all that traveling and flashy gifts, Diddy suddenly suggested he should work with Dr. Dre. Maybe it was Diddy's way of backing out of a deal that didn't work out, or maybe he realized where the game truly belonged. Switching gears a bit, in 2022, there was a bombshell dropped when the game's older brother, Big Face, hinted at a closer relationship between Diddy and the game. Instagram went wild when Face posted a picture of Diddy hugging the game, with a playful caption hinting that maybe their bond was more than just friendship. While Face's mysterious post got fans talking, it's important to remember that Big Face and the game had a rocky split before. Ladder's meteoric rise to fame this rocky history LED some to brush off Face's post as mere envious section of the fanbase argued slowly, but surely all that is happening in the entertainment industry is being exposed, meanwhile another fan ominously warned don't be surprised if the game ended up mysteriously missing for bringing this kind of truth to the light but here's the big question. Why did the game let Diddy spoil him with fancy gifts and luxury trips for two whole years without ever recording any music? It's a piece of the puzzle that doesn't quite make sense, especially when the game himself revealed that Diddy wasn't the only one giving out gifts. 